Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars Legends lore video. Today will be a bit more of a rambly one because I want to talk about a topic that I've seen again and again over the past few years as a Star Wars fan, especially interacting with people I think who are new to the Legends universe. And that's the idea that Palpatine created the Empire, the Death Stars, and everything to try to save the galaxy from the Yuuzhan Vong. This is a popular fan theory on Reddit. I've seen it on YouTube, whether satirical or or not. And this is propagated to the point where people believe that this is not only true, but true within the lore, and 100% explaining Palpatine's motivations. I want to tackle that today, but I also do want to mention that I have covered this before, specifically two years ago, but I would like to revisit it and include more information. So I'll start off by giving you guys a very short version of the theory that some put forward. Basically, Palpatine created the Empire and its war machines, including everything from the Death Stars and other super weapons to large capital ships like the Star Destroyers, in order to protect against an upcoming Yuuzhan Vong invasion. And for those who don't know, the Yuuzhan Vong was a race from another galaxy that invaded the Star Wars galaxy about 25 years after the Battle of Yavin. So my first problem with this argument is that it's used somewhat to portray the Emperor in a positive light. Basically that he wasn't killing people because he wanted to or he wasn't building a militarized empire to gain himself power, but because he was truly worried about the fate of the galaxy. Even if that is self-centered and he's really only worried about himself, it fails to capture Palpatine's true motivations as they exist within the actual lore. I will say outright, Palpatine was aware that the Yuuzhan Vong were invading. We know about that from Outbound Flight and other material. He even communicates their existence to Grand Admiral Thrawn. However, the Outbound Flight is, in my opinion, a good example of how Palpatine works. Palpatine claims that he wanted to destroy the vessel, which was meant to explore outside of the galaxy, because he was worried about it running into the Yuuzhan Vong and instigating an invasion, but it's much more likely that he just wanted to kill the Jedi on board. That's because Palpatine uses false objectives in order to justify his character and his actions, which are wholly evil. First of all, Palpatine is not at all a nuanced character. He's a black hole of the Force, he sees himself as the embodiment of the dark side, and he just doesn't do anything other than what he wants to do and what will benefit him. When reading Plagueis, we see Palpatine up close, we see what he was like, we see his motivations, and even as a very young man, Palpatine wanted one thing and one thing only power and domination. Those two aspects are what drives his character and truly what drive the Sith as a whole. The Sith believe that they are destined to rule and to dominate, and Palpatine specifically saw the rest of the galaxy as inferior. This unending drive for power is how we have to view Palpatine's actions and motivations. And if you don't believe me yet, as we go through the video, I'll present further evidence, all backed up not by speculation, but by lore. So Palpatine used the Clone Wars as an excuse to militarize the Empire. This was part of the plan that would gain him absolute power, alongside, importantly, securing the role of Chancellor, funneling more power into that position, and then finally transitioning into Emperor. However, that was only the beginning. From that point and further, Palpatine attempted to concentrate even more power within himself. It's this that explains the various decisions made by the Empire, including the construction of the Death Stars, rather than some desire to create a super weapon which would kill Yuuzhan Vong world ships. There are two really good examples of how Palpatine tried to centralize power. The first is the introduction of the Grand Moffs and the Twelve Grand Admirals. Basically, Palpatine's plan was to move away from the Republic style of governing, where there were thousands of sector fleets and region administrators, to a new model, which would see very, very few powerful beings essentially controlling the entire galaxy. As various texts, including the Thrawn trilogy, tell us, the reason why he did this is because it's much easier to find a few dozen people who are extremely loyal and to check up on them rather than several thousands. Practically, even on a day-to-day -day level, Palpatine could micromanage his Grand Admirals, who themselves were carrying out his will, essentially controlling the military's actions throughout the galaxy. There was actually a very similar principle with the construction of the Death Stars. Palpatine saw that as the Navy expanded, it was becoming too powerful, and he feared losing control of it. So he made a weapon that he could command personally, and which itself represented a massive portion of the Empire's might. Yeah, some of that is also due to the Tarkin Doctrine, however that as well shows his true nature. Palpatine wasn't controlling the galaxy with an iron fist, 
because he wanted to give the population a better life or he thought that's what was truly better for them individually, but rather because he wanted to control people, to dominate them, to do whatever he wanted to them without anybody trying to stand in his way. But there's more about the structure of the Empire that reveals Palpatine's true motivations. If he were truly worried about the Yuzhan Vong or about future threats, he wouldn't have created a powerful empire which would nonetheless fall should he die. As the Essential Guide to Warfare and the Dark Empire Sourcebook explains, it's no surprise that the Empire shattered so drastically after the Battle of Endor. Palpatine went out of his way to ensure that there was no line of secession and that if he died, the Empire died with him. Not only was there no clear leader after Palpatine died, but he also controlled the Empire largely through the use of the dark side of the Force. I'll let the Dark Empire sourcebook explain. Palpatine knew precisely why the Empire couldn't last without his dread power. He had designed it that way. No one ever suspected how much he relied on the dark side of the Force. He shaped those of his government by using the Force against them, he used it to control his fleets, and to drive his soldiers on to victory. Palpatine wasn't about making a stable government, he was about making the government that was best suited for him to have power. It was himself, not the Empire, which was important to Palpatine, and he was even willing to decimate the Empire's navy during the mutiny which preceded Operation Shadow Hand and saw no less than 12 Super Star Destroyers lost. He also contributed to Thrawn's failing, the general disarray of the Empire, and finally we see the transition into the Dark Empire. Palpatine didn't care about the galaxy, the Dark Empire would have ravaged it just as badly as the Yuzhan Vong. Palpatine, using the Death Star, the Galaxy Gun, World Devastators, and other weapons, obliterated planets which would have been very useful during the Yuzhan Vong invasion. And he had literally no qualms about doing so, striking from far away with the Galaxy Gun pulling up their resources with world devastators. The whole Dark Empire crisis just shows that Palpatine believed himself so far beyond ordinary threats like invaders. World devastators, like I just mentioned, were meant not for controlling the galaxy, but for controlling the universe. Palpatine believed that he would be an omnipotent ruler. Here's a quote, as his plan proceeded, he became convinced that there was nothing between him and the eternal rule of darkness. Even Ulic Caldroma would be envious of Palpatine. He had succeeded where all others had failed in taming the dark side. He would journey across the universe, spreading the shadow of his rule, blotting out the stars themselves, and taking his dark rule to other helpless galaxies. So Palpatine created massive war machines for several reasons. One, because the wars were a convenient excuse to militarize, and and also to secure more power. Two, because he needed that power to repress those under his cruel command, and because he was continually looking to further conquer and rule more. Super weapons, dreadnoughts, even star destroyers were made ultimately so Palpatine could consolidate power within himself. It wasn't to protect the galaxy against the Yuzhan Vong. Had that been the case, he wouldn't have decimated the Imperial fleet during Operation Shadow Hand. He wouldn't have made sure that it crumbled had he died. And more importantly, Palpatine Palpatine was just pure evil, again, he's not meant to be a nuanced character, he wants power as all Sith do. Would his super weapons and his navy have been great against the Yuzhan Vong? Yeah, they would have, he could have wiped them out in probably a single battle. But you know what? Palpatine probably wouldn't have done that. Assuming that he hadn't converted to the Dark Empire, Palpatine would have used a new threat as a further excuse to build even larger and more extravagant warships. And we actually get a hint of that in the Revenge of the Sith Cross section, where it's revealed that barbarian threats outside the galaxy, quote unquote, have been used to justify the control construction of Star Destroyers, with again a hint that it's just an excuse for militarization. So no, Palpatine wouldn't have wiped the Vong out though his force would have been perfectly suited to do so. But the fact is that he wouldn't have needed anything like multiple Super Star Destroyers or the Galaxy Gun. The New Republic most likely could have beat the Yuzhan Vong outright had they responded properly. The Yuzhan Vong as a force were comparatively smaller, they owned literally no territory, and had just spent thousands of years traveling the intergalactic void. All the New Republic needed to do was stop them from gaining a beachhead. 
That of course is just my opinion though, I'm curious to hear what you think. Did Palpatine have ulterior motives in the construction of the Death Star? Was he simply trying to protect the galaxy from a greater outside evil? Or am I right? Let me know what you think down in the comments. No question of the day today because this video is going long, but leave a question down below with hashtag AskEck and watch till the end of my videos and you might see yours addressed. However, that's all I have for today. Until next time guys, have a great day and as always, may the Force be with you.